There's no doubt about it, but the most controversial character in Irish politics in the last 50 years was Charlie Hockey. He held very many posts as ministers and ended up his career in politics as teacher. When he was appointed junior minister for fisheries at the start of his career, the Dinger Fishermen's Co-op, never known to be backward, invited him down for a day's fishing. The co-op invited Kevin Coleman, photographer to Kerryman, and myself to cover the event. The trawler had barely left Dingle at the mouth of the harbour when Charlie was handed lines for mackerel fishing. Within 10 minutes, he had about 30 mackerel on the deck. Then the crew used the mackerel to bait lobster pots and Charlie was given the job of throwing them back into the sea. After that, he did some fishing for sharks of Connor himself, but nothing was biting. We spent about two hours, and then they came back to the lobster pots, and lo and behold, there were lobster in the pots. They were taken on board, and Charlie was asked which one he would like for lunch. He picked the lobster, they hauled in a bucket of seawater, and took her down to the galley, and about an hour later, up comes the dish, steaming, now red lobster, looking very inviting. They handed him a stone about the size of my fist and said, you can break the shell. He did, he broke the shell and he ate the lobster on the deck from the wood, which had been washed by the sea water the whole time. The lobster was washed down with bottles of wine. It was a meal fit for a king, and a king he was. After the meal, Charlie started to fish for shark. His hook was baited, and Chubb Connor and himself turned out to be luckless fishermen. They got nothing. Kevin Coleman and I got tired of the proceedings, and we tongued a passing half decker with Kevin O'Kineda, a friend of mine on it. We went into Bally David Pier and into Begley's pub and we started drinking. About an hour later, someone shouts, the trawler's coming in. What's that they have off the spell? Jesus, it looks like shark. It was indeed. We grabbed our equipment and rushed down to the pier, feeling so embarrassed. Chubb and Charlie had landed three fine big shark, about six foot long. And we start clicking the cameras, and Charlie looks at me and says, you're everywhere except where you're wanted. He wasn't really talking about us, just about the press in general. He went on to become great friends with Dingle. He got an album of photographs from the day and he kept them and admired them. We won't forget Charlie and Kerry. Mm -hmm.